The Abe Lincoln tomato is an early 20th century heirloom named for the 16th president of the United States. Its classic flavor, deep crimson color, and rugged disease resistance make it a reliable favorite for organic gardeners. Buckby's seed catalog introduced the Abe Lincoln in 1923, calling it the giant of all tomatoes. Buckby's developed this variety on its Rockford, Illinois farm, and in its catalog, the company gushed of growing as many as nine tomatoes in a single cluster that weighed seven pounds. Customers reported growing tomatoes that clocked in at three pounds each. Buckby's went on to tout the Abe Lincoln tomato as an ideal variety for ketchup, chili sauce, tomato juice, and slicing. The very shy cedar, as Buckby's called it, has firm and meaty flesh and ripens all the way through despite its size. The Buckby's listing also included some glowing customer reviews. Mrs. H. R. Cusel of Henderson, Kentucky wrote, your Abraham Lincoln tomatoes are super fine. Had clusters of six to 10 fruits that averaged over one and a quarter pound each. And a customer from Alton, Illinois shared, I raised five Abraham Lincoln tomatoes in one cluster that weighed 11 and a half pounds. Every one was smooth as an apple. The Abe Lincoln didn't take off as Buckby's would have liked, but this toothsome tomato has remained a favorite of heirloom enthusiasts. William Moyes Weaver, a founding father of the modern heirloom seed movement, praises the Abe Lincoln as a top choice for organic gardeners. He says this trusty tomato may have been lost to a frenzy of tomato development in the 1920s, when several new varieties were introduced around the same time as the one named for Illinois' favorite son. Weaver also explains that there are currently two strains of the Abe Lincoln tomato, the original that Buckby's introduced in 1923, as well as an earlier maturing variety introduced in the 1970s. Diane Dirks, also known as the Garden Lady of Georgia, gave the original Abe Lincoln tomato seeds to Baker Creek. Diane is a seed saver and sharer with a background in permaculture, she got the seeds when she struck up a conversation with an elderly man at a gas station one day. He assured her that they were the originals from the 1920s, not the newfangled variety from 50 years later. Many thanks to Diane for sharing and helping to reintroduce this gargantuan, old-timey tomato.